No. Okay. So yeah, let's use this formula to help us solve this equation for all real solutions. So the first thing is we need to make sure that our quadratic equals zero. So that means we're gonna take this guy and move it over there. Also, it's okay that this equation uses a Y instead of an X. It's just a different letter, a different variable, but the solution still, we can still use our quadratic formula to solve for this. So in order to move the negative y squared to the other side, what we want to do is add y squared to both sides. Um, I'm gonna write it, whoop, whoa, I didn't know you could do that. I'm gonna write it to the side here. So we'll have 20y squared because 19y squared plus y squared is 20y squared. And then minus 13y plus 2 equals, and then over here, they cancel out, so now equals 0. So now we have it in standard form, and we can recognize that the 20 is our a, the negative 13 is our b, and the 2 is our c. So I'm going to do some color coding as you guys copy it down, or maybe you're working ahead because you already remember this. Either way is fine. So the 20 is A, negative 13 is the B, and 2 is the C. All right, I'm going to plug all of this in to our equation, except instead of an X, I'm just going to use Y. Cool. Let's do that in a pen, not a highlighter. Y equals negative B, so negative, and then our B value was negative 13 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 13 squared, minus 4 times a, which was 20, times c, which is 2. And then put this all over 2 and a, which was 20. OK, do you guys have any questions up till here? Just putting it in standard form and plugging it into our equation. All right, interrupt me if you do have a question, but I'll just keep going then. So simplifying this further, um, we have a negative negative 13. So really that's just a positive 13 plus or minus the square root of, let's hope that I can fit this in, 13 squared is 169 minus 4 times 20 times 2, that's 160, all over 2 times 20, that's 40. So we're just simplifying now. Then we have 13 plus or minus the square root of 169 minus 160 is just 9, all over 40. Okay, continuing to simplify. This is 13 plus or minus, the square root of nine is simply three. And then this is all over 40. Okay, so at this point we may now calculate our two solutions separately. One is a 13 plus three over 40. The other is a 13 minus three over 40. So let me write that out. 13 plus three over 40 and also 13 minus three over 40. Any questions up till here? Okay, I'm gonna zoom in because I don't have space. <laughs> okay, so now we have 16 over 40 as one answer, and then the other is 10 over 40 as the other answer. We may simplify. So for this one, both the numerator and denominator are divisible by four. So I'm going to simplify by dividing both the top and bottom by four. Wait, is that it? No, actually, you know what? Both are divisible by eight. So I shall simplify. 
by dividing both the top and the bottom by 8. So 16 divided by 8 gives us 2 fifths. This is one answer. And then, oh yeah, 16 divided by 8 is 2. 40 divided by 8 is 5. I said it. So this is one of our answers. And then for this one on the right side, both the top and bottom are divisible by 10. So I'm going to divide both the top and bottom by 10, and you get 1 fourth. And so now we have our two answers, 2 fifths and 1 fourth. Do you guys have any questions up till here now? Okay, I'm going to enter this in, 2 fifths and 1 fourth. So since there's two answers, I believe I'm going to have to press it like that. Two fifths, one fourth. And it says good. So they give us the quadratic formula, and you plug it in, and then you simplify, 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 just like what we did. OK. So I'll do one more example for this one, for this type of problem with the quadratic formula. Actually, I'm going to do it for the next section because next section we're still using the quadratic formula. It's just that for the next section, you'll do it with a decimal as your answer. So let it load. Come on, easily. Oh, yeah, let me stop that recording. 